In a recent firmware update for Huntsman V3 analog keyboard, Razer has released a function called SnapTap, which basically eliminates the problem of overlapping keys. Previously, whenever you press two buttons at the same time, both keys were active and the game read that as no input. Your character would come to a stop. SnapTap, on the other hand, only activates your latest input, overriding the previously pressed key. This means that there is no longer any overlap between two keys and your character can stay in constant motion without any micro stops. Now this is a pretty big feature as it allows you to become really proficient in movement and a lot of games like CSGO or Overwatch will greatly benefit from that. So it's no surprise that the big community gathered around Wooting 60 he has requested the same feature on their beloved keyboard and Wooting did in fact deliver. The new feature called SOCD for now is available as a beta program, but everyone can just go to the beta app, install the latest update from the website and enable that feature. At first it might be a bit confusing, so let me explain what each of the settings does. First you need to decide which of the features you want to use, Rappy Snappy or SOCD. The difference between how both work is pretty simple, Rappy Snappy activates the key that has been pressed the most. So for example, if you're strafing left and right and you press both keys, but A is pressed more than D, you will move to the left. If D, however, is pressed down more than A, you will go to the right. Pretty simple. SOCD works a bit differently as it uses the latest input. So if you were strafing left by holding the A button fully pressed and then you wanted to move to the opposite way, all you need to do is to press D till the activation point and you will stop moving left and instantly start moving right. This is with normal settings, there are more settings to choose from however. For example, if you set priority to one of the keys, A or D in our example, only the priority key will be active even if you press both keys. So for example, if you move left with A and A has priority, even if you press D you will still move left. However, if you hold D to move right, and press A which has the priority, you will stop moving right and move left. The last setting is the standard behavior of the keyboard, meaning if you press both buttons at once, you will get no input and your character will come to a stop. There's also a toggle option. If you enable it and have both buttons fully pressed, you will get no input no matter which of the other four options you've chosen, but this will only work when both buttons are fully pressed. I hope this clears things up and you'll be able to find your preferred way of using SOCD. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Laser, and I'll see you soon.